What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Izzy Does Make Money, and I am here with another DIY project. Here I have a mason jar. They made it as a candle, well, a tea light candle holder. I got it from Dollar Tree yesterday. I have some in my living room as well, but I decided to do something with it because I'm trying to do some different stuff with my bathroom. And my favorite color as of right now, besides yellow, is this um, turquoise, tealish color my fade so i'm gonna take it and i'm going to change this black um top into teal and i'm going to make some candle holders with it and i'm going to do the video in phases because i have to let it dry and then go back and do other stuff to it so i'm going to start by as you can see it's clean i didn't show you but i've already wiped it down with some alcohol just to kind of keep everything clean and i have my little paintbrush with some um turquoise paint already on it because I started on one already and I just want to show you guys the finished product of this one so this is the top to another one that I have over here set out to the side and I'm going to do this one exactly like I did that one so I'm just going to take the brush and hit it and certain spots actually don't matter I don't know if y'all can see this it's kind of dark in my room and I can't find my uh my small um light so, I'm just going to take this part and make it turquoise. And then I have my heat gun, which is my trusty tool. Because instead of me having to wait and do it in increments, I can paint it, dry it with the heat gun a little bit, and then move on. And I can actually do more than one coat if I need to without having to let it dry for like an hour or so. So, I really rely on my heat gun a lot. Because I do a lot of DIY projects. I know I haven't posted in a while, y'all. But this coronavirus stuff has really gotten me shook. And I actually stepped out yesterday to go to Dollar Tree and the grocery store to get some stuff we need here at the house. And I decided to pick up a few things. Because I was like, I want to redo something different to the bathroom. So, I was like, let me grab these. Grab a few of these. And I grabbed the other few. A few other little um things i can diy with but i haven't figured out just yet what i want to do with them so we'll start with these and keep it moving so as you can see i did this and i'm gonna do the whole thing so when i finish with this it's gonna look completely like this one no black you don't see any black the bottom parts like this right here where you can see a little black off up in a little groove right there I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, I'm not really too worried about that. I was really more so worried about doing a second coat on the top here and like the sides because this is something that's going to see. But all of this is going to be inside the jar. After I finish doing what I'm going to do to the jar, you're not going to see this. So it really doesn't matter. So now I did that part and I have to dry it a bit with my heat gun. Don't put it too close because then it makes the paint bubble. And that looks really ugly. So I don't put it too close. I try to keep a distance and dry it just hit it a little bit to let the paint cool to the um the object okay and now you can you can touch that and it won't come off because it's dry so see nothing so now I'm just going to hit the inside a little bit. Like I said, I'm running out of paint. I need to pour more paint. But like I said, um, you're not really going to see the inside because it's going to house a tea light. So, um, of course, you want it to look nice. But this part here, it really doesn't matter how you do it. So I'm just going to hit it a little bit inside the circle just to have it all the same color because I don't want to have half turquoise and half black so we want it all to be the same color i hope everybody is staying safe staying inside the house not going out unless it's just absolutely necessary because this stuff is really 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 scary so i can't tell you the last time my kids have been outside and they are going crazy because when they see me leave and go to the store or something they think it's like all the other times we go to the store and they can go and just throw a bunch of stuff in the cart and you know get 
out of the house just to go and help me at the store or whatever. So I have to struggle and do it alone. Most of the time I have my mom with me because um, we go to the store together. And um, that way we can help try to remember if I don't make a list of things that we have to get out of the store. And she helps me and I help her. But I just don't feel safe with my kids going outside at all. So when they're asking me, can we go? Can we go? I have to say no. Because I feel like home is the safest place for me to be right now. Like, I don't want to go outside for anything. Um, we cut the grass and they might go outside and play like on the side of the house. And the way our house is set, we have a gate that we can lock so that um, people, can't, people can't come and, you know, just walk back to our personal space, which is great because they can play out there and I don't have to worry about, you know, anybody being out there with them. Okay, you guys, I have started on this. I'm not going to sit here and let you guys watch me do the full thing, but you kind of get the point of me painting this. Now I'm doing the little poles. I did the inside. I dried it, and then I'm going to go up and do the inside and the top with a little bit of paint as well, and I'll be back and let you guys see what we're going to do next. Be back soon. Hey you guys, I'm back. Um, I got both of my tops painted that go to my mason jar um, candle holders. So I painted the whole thing. It was black. I painted it all turquoise. So I'm done with this. It's completely dry. And once I'm done painting all the pieces that need painting, I'm going to take a layer of Mod Podge and go over it to give it a little glossy shine. And then we'll put the pieces together. So right now I want to show you another piece that I've taken out. Um, this is also a candle holder. I just cut the piece off of it. Actually, this came from Dollar Tree as well. Everything I'm using pretty much came from Dollar Tree. Um, I love the stuff they have in there. It's a lot of stuff you can use to make crafts with. So I took the exact same piece and I also painted this one turquoise because this is going to serve as the bottom of my candle holder. This too is a candle holder, but we're going to put it together and you'll understand it better. Um, when I'm done, I guess, <laughs> And I know you've seen people do these already, but everybody has their own spin. They like to put on things. So right now I'm just going to go over how I painted this one. And then I will come back with the next step of the video. Of course, we're going to fuse it together. I don't want you guys just sitting here watching me paint and um, dry this candle holder. So right now I'm just going over all the glass, making sure to hit all of the parts because you don't want to see the streaks and you don't want to be able to see the glass underneath. You want it to actually look like you purchased this candle holder, this color already like this. So I'm just taking it and painting the whole thing. This pretty, pretty, pretty turquoise color. Like y'all, I'm so obsessed with turquoise and teals and, you know, uh, burnt oranges, like colors that reflect this color. I love like yellows, pretty, pretty painty colors. I love, 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 love. So I'm trying to do this counter holder set for my bathroom so that I can make it like a spa feel when I go in and soak in my Epsom salts and stuff like that. Um, I'm also getting into making soaps and I'm waiting on a few of my um, pieces like my soap molds and stuff like that to come so that I can begin the process of making my own soaps. And what a better guinea pig to try the soaps on than myself. So I will be doing a lot of soaking in the tub. And I would love it to look nice and inviting in there. Instead of just going in and like, hey, do your business and get out. <laughs> if you get my drift. Um, it doesn't look bad in there. But I feel like I can always make it better. And I'm loving DIYs. So that's like a big thing to me now. Well, I've always done DIYs, but now I'm getting more and more into it, especially being at home and not able to do anything. So now I've painted the whole bottom. I'm going to go over it again, but right now I'm going to take my heat gun and just go around it to secure the color to the glass before I go over that again. Because there's some streaks in there, of course you can see. But you let the first layer dry a bit, and then you go over it again with your second coat before... I get to the rest of it. But you guys pretty much get the gist on me. So I am going to exit stage right again, finish this one, and then come back with 
the next phase in this kind of hole that I'm putting together. And yeah, I'll be back soon. A few moments later. Okay, good people. I have all of my items that I needed to paint the painting. So I have two candlestick bottoms. I have my tops. And now I have my Mod Podge that I'm going to use. And I'm using the matte Mod Podge so that I can put a layer over this to give it a little gloss and also just make it to where the glue adheres more to what I put it on. So we're going to crack open the Mod Podge. If I can get it open because it seems to be stuck and I don't have that much energy today. So let me see. Okay, it's coming off slowly. Bear with me. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. And I like to just take the top and clean it off a little bit, but y'all don't need to see that. I'm trying to get these sticky pieces off that's keeping the container from opening up. Okay, now we're just gonna sit that Mod Podge there. I have a little in my top. Matter of fact, I'm gonna pour more in the top so that way what I don't use, I can put back in there okay now let's just sit that there and we'll move these back we only need one thing at a time to paint so using the same paintbrush i washed it off i don't believe in wasting anything i'm just gonna dot a little bit of my podge and just kind of go over it and it doesn't matter how it looks going on because it's going to dry clear anyways so just going to get it on here and then I'm going to take my same heat gun I used to dry the paint to dry this just like to make sure I rub it in a little bit so it doesn't be all hunky and stuff like it's some fat pieces in here that I don't quite like so just like everything else I've done, done so far I'm just gonna show you how I do this process you might have your own way of doing it you might not want to do this at all it's not required like it's not something you have to do it's just something that I'm doing to my um candlestick holders so yeah When I feel like I have enough, I'm going to take my hand and go around and get these big pieces off because I don't like that, guys. I really don't like that. Like around the top parts here. I'm going to go in there anyway, but I don't need it to be on there like that. I just don't want it hunky. Where it looks all nasty. Okay. So that's that. That's the gist of it all. And then we're going to take the same heat gun. I'm going to hold it right now with it over the mild fire stove because I don't want to dry that out. Because we're going to do that again. Okay. I don't need to do that much that's going to dry on its own. So. I think I'm just gonna keep going with this and then I'll be back with the other thing. The same thing with the Mod Podge. I'm gonna do the this piece. I'm gonna also do the these right here. And then I'll just be back to put it together because it's becoming a bit much now and I'm just ready to get it done. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in, guys. I will be back to show you how I put this together and I will be sure to link everything that I use in the description box below. Um, I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I'm actually getting tired of this, guys. So I decided against the Mod Podge on the bottom parts. I did it on the tops. And those are actually drying. It just takes a longer process. And I don't feel like I need it for the bottom of this because this is about to be adhered to this. So I'm going to take this E6000 glue. And I'm going to put it around the rim of this. And then I'm going to glue that. And we have to let it dry. 
before we can move on to the next phase of anything. Schwa. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Should I do the other part first, or should I just do the do the do the? No, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this part first because this is gonna take um some time to adhere. So I'm just gonna go around it. If it gets inside, it really doesn't matter because it's gonna be glued to the bottom of the jar. And then I'll probably go around it with some hot glue just to give it some extra needed security. Right now, I'm just trying to make sure I have a nice amount on here before I stick this on here. And I have to close this up because I don't want it to get on everything. So this is how this is going to look. I'm going to press it down some so that it, it can begin the phase of, of um, forming to the jar. Yep, that's how we're going to do that. And then I'm just going to sit it to the side and let it do its thing. work on the next one I'm trying to see if I need to put more on there but once this part dries then I'll go under it like I said and I'll hot glue around the bottom part of it wait a minute I think I need more on one side I really don't like E6000 but this is what I have on hand I don't have any Gorilla glue right now so that's what I would use that's my glue of choice plus this one smells so freaking bad and I feel like I have to use more of this than I would E6 style. I mean, than I would Gorilla. So, yeah, this is not my go-to glue. A lot of people swore on it when I first started um, using it. But my review is like, meh. Like, I could take it or leave it. I don't have to have it. Because it's not all of that. Make sure it's in between there. I'll go and pull all the acrylic off soon. But let me do this other one. Let's take this one. Raise it up a little too much. But I'm going to do the same thing I did to that one, to this one. I'm going to take the same little wonky glue and put it in a thick layer all around the top of this. And then we're going to put it together. Then the next part is going to be so amazing for me. Because I'm ready to put my restroom together. Together, together, together. I love doing DIYs, y'all. And even if the best thing to me about DIYs is even if it doesn't come out exactly like another one you saw that's what makes it perfect to me because you make it your own like you might take a diy you find on someone else's page or someone else's channel and you do it but when you do it you change up what you don't like you put in what you want you take out what you don't so to me that's what makes diys worthwhile because you, no one will ever be exactly the same like i don't go with the intention of doing the diy that i found on somebody else's page or channel and say oh, i want it just like that i go in with the mind frame of i'm gonna do me with it i'm gonna turn it into something that's me so that's what i'm doing with these because i actually found this um idea on another channel forgive me i don't remember the name but the one she did was beautiful 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 i loved hers but I want to take them and make them into my own. So now we're going to let those sit. And I will be back, you guys, with the next step. What's up, lovely people? I am back yet again. And I have finally got the glasses put together. Yay, me. Okay, so this is how they turned out. I don't know this one. think that'll help much. So this is how it turned out. Yeah, I'm loving it. And this is the other one. I was letting them dry upside down. Because I went behind it after the E6000 and added some hot glue to it. 
um, to give it much needed security because it did because that E6000 did not do the trick. So I actually ended up picking them up and putting on the, um, the hot glue over the E6000 just to make sure that they stay adhered. And now I can pick them up and, you know, they're still going through the drying phase, but, um, they are a lot more cute, secure now that I have the, um, E6000 on there. And so now we can move on to the next phase of phases. When I find what I'm looking for, I will let you know. I'm digging in my little bin and have, it's kind of like a Barney bag, y'all, but it's a bin. <laughs> um, if anybody... All right, I'm giving my age away, I guess. Um, anybody that watched Barney as a kid knows what the Barney bag is. And I have a bin over here that I it kind of reminds me of a Barney bag because it has some of everything inside of it. So here I found in my Barney bag some um, mirror pieces. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to add Mod Podge to this. And I'm going to add the mirror pieces, the broken mirror pieces to that. And we're going to make a cool little design. And then we can add the top. So let's get it started in here. Okay, I'm gonna pour these paints into my bag. I actually need this bin. I don't feel like getting up going to go look for something else. So let's give it a little shake, 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 shake. And we can open these. Let's move these to the side now. So that we can well, we're gonna keep one and I'll just sit it here. And this is my lid with the Mod Podge. Oh, this is hard. I got these from Michaels, by the way. And they had them on sale for four dollars. They have a big cool sale going on, so thought that was dope. This is how it looks opened. It's really cute. So I'm gonna pour them in here. I won't pour all of it, but you know I'm gonna take it and scoop it on there. I really don't want to put my hand in it, but um. I'm trying to think of what else I can use to scoop. Bingo. When I tell you, I just find what I find. I found an Uno card laying on my floor because the kids been playing Uno. And I use that to scoop the pieces onto the glass once I add the Mod Podge layer. So we're going to start. I'm not going to put it up here because I'm going to need this part to stay um, like it is so that the top will fit on there securely how it's supposed to. So we're not going to... um Put any Mod Podge on that part. We're going to start actually under the little bubble part where the top forms and we're going to put it right there. So now I'm just layering Mod Podge, Mod Podge, Mod Podge on here. And we're going to do a little section at a time and then we'll go back over it and go over it with more Mod Podge and do the another layer of the um broken mirror glass pieces i just want to make sure we have a thick enough layer on here to pick up enough pieces when we do the first layer so that's what we're doing now okay now we're gonna lay it to the side bring this over here and just hold this over where is my uno card at oh i got it take the uno card and then just start pouring the pieces on here and let the shake fall in back into the bucket that's why it's good to have a bucket because i could have just did it and then i would have had pieces everywhere which is not wouldn't have been beneficial because i would have been trying to get that out of my carpet and everything so just having a bucket helps. And I'm right now I'm just making sure I put it over all of the glue. And that's actually a little bit. Get some more shakes off. Shake, 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 shake. Shake your peanut. Okay. Okay, this is actually how it looks once you put the first layer on. And now I'm gonna go to the next side and just keep doing the same thing. If the pieces fall off, it's fine. Trust and believe I'm gonna pick those pieces up. And we're going to still use them because I don't like to waste anything. So, if it's like some tiny pieces, I'm just going to vacuum it up. But the bigger pieces that I can pick up and put back in my jar, 
best believe we're going to do that. You better believe it. I would be lying to you if I told you I wasn't going to pick him up. This stuff is hard to come by. I am a DIYer on a budget. All my material is on a budget. We don't have sponsors on this channel. We pray we get some one day. But as of right now, it's just me. <laughs> if you feel what I'm saying. And I just be trying to make it do what it do, baby. Okay, I'm not going to try to do that other part right now. Because it's going to be too much to try to spin it around and get to that. I'm trying to get as close to this, um, this other little side right here where these are. So that I can dump some on top of this too. I actually picked up a few pieces, but we'll live. Now back to the car and back to the back to business, should I say. I'm trying to hurry up, y'all, because somebody gonna end up calling me while I am um doing this video. And I already been stopped and started and went off for so many things. I'm trying to cook at the same time while I'm doing this, so it's taking me a longer time to complete this than what it really would usually do. Okay, and I see this bottom part down here. I'm gonna go back over there because it has glue right there. You can't see that, but this part right here, you can see where I put like hot glue around the bottom of it. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take some more Mod Podge when this top part dries and go over that. And um, add some mirror glass to that bottom part too, just to fill it in so you won't see the hot glue. Last part, y'all. And then we will be done. I'm gonna do the other one, but I'm not gonna do that one on camera. You guys pretty much get the gist of doing this little simple um, DIY. I love the way it's turning out. I'll come back after I'm done. I'm doing this to show you guys the finished product and maybe show you how it looks in my bathroom where I'm planning to put it on whatever um, I hope you guys like and enjoy this DIY project because I really enjoyed making it for you well making it for you to see I made it for me <laughs> and just going over it again as I was like I did the other two sections and putting a nice layer of my Podge here. And then we will go with the Uno card and add in the rest of the glass. I need to buy more of this glass, y'all. I love it. And I seen at Michael's too that I thought was really dope that they have other colors. So this is clear, but I'm going in and I'm going to go and find. They had blue, they had purple, they had like a lot of different colors you can use. And I want them all, so. And Michael's be on the lookout because your girl will be filling that part up again real soon. But I think I didn't get them when I ordered this because they didn't have it to where you could have it shipped. You had to actually go in and pick those up. And with the quarantine going on, if I go to Michael's, I like to stay at Michael's for hours. And I know I can't do that, so I'd rather not even go just for that. So. Now we're just going to shake, 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 round and roll. Oh, we missed the whole piece, y'all. I missed the whole piece. I missed the whole little piece right here. I'm going to go in now and do that because it needs to be done. Huh. I know you really can't see what I'm doing, y'all. I'm still new to this. So, like I said all the time, charge it to my head and not my heart. I know you really can't see me um dabbling this mod podge on here but you can see me this bucket is full of um broken mirror glass that i got from michael's and i have to have the bucket here i probably should have did it on a table so when i make some more next time i'll um try to use a table or try to angle the camera differently so that you guys can get a better look at um what i'm doing but I'm explaining it to you while I'm doing it. So it's pretty self-explanatory once you um, see what I got going on. So what I'm doing now is I still see some 
like pieces that have a bunch of glue that didn't get covered. So I'm going back over those pieces just to make sure that they get covered up before moving on to the next one. And we've been on here for 10 minutes doing this part. So I'm really about to go because this video is going to end up being really long. And I know if y'all are like me, sometimes you don't like to sit for a long period of time, especially if it's something that you're really not interested in. So I try not to um, waste too much time on one task before heading to the next. That's why I say, oh, I'll be back with this, this, and that, because I don't want you guys to sit here and just watch me glue something or watch me paint something. So I try to show like a like the gist of what I'm doing. And then I move on to the next thing because I don't want you to get bored of me. I don't want you to get bored of what I'm doing, especially if you're not a crafter or a DIY person. Like, I don't expect you to sit up and watch the complete video, but I appreciate the ones that are and the ones that do, you know, watch the videos and everything because I know I go on and I watch a lot, a lot of videos. And I save a lot. I have a lot of videos saved into my own. Um, into my playlist and stuff because I plan on going back and either trying them but I take my time and I try to figure out what I want to do as far as tweaking them to make them my own because I said that in the beginning I don't like to completely do it exactly like somebody else's unless I find something that's just dope and I'd be like oh I need that to be just like that then it's different okay so guys this is how it looks with the broken mirror glass on it the blue bottom well turquoise bottom and i still have pieces falling off that i keep taking this card and shuffling up and put them in the bucket because like i said i'm not wasteful i like to reuse as much as i can and them 4.99s add up i think i think this i want to say these pieces were 4.99 so that 4.99 adds up and i want to be able to get my money's worth out of this so yeah but um i'll be back with one last final part of the video to let you guys see both of them and maybe to do a um a reveal of how they'll be placed in the bathroom so um yeah i'll be back hey you guys this is the last part of the video i just wanted to come back and show you guys the finished products these are my um turquoise and broken glass candle holders that would be going in my bathroom um, I didn't get around to doing the, um, putting them up where I want them to go yet. Cause I have some stuff to finish in the bathroom when I'm done with this video that I didn't get to do yet. So, um, I'm going to wait and probably do that later when I add more pieces to what I want to do to the bathroom and do other videos. Then I will show you guys the complete product of the bathroom. But right now this is the video for these, um, um, candle holders that I made using Dollar Tree items and um broken mirror glass from michael's so um i hope you guys like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to be uh caught up on any videos that i drop from here on out um i will be trying to post more um i'm still new to this i'm trying to get my following up from other diy people and people that like to do the things that i like to do which are all things craft cool um like I said, yeah, this is the video of it. I hope you guys like these. Um, they took longer than I wanted them to. And I'm not a fan of this broken mirror glass. So I don't know how many DIYs I will be doing again with that. Because it actually makes a huge mess. Like when it's um, drying, the pieces fall off. Or if you tap it, I still have little pieces falling off. Because I didn't go over it with the Mod Podge just yet. I want them to dry a little bit more before I take them and put them into the bathroom. But I love, 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 love how perfectly imperfect they are. And that's like one of my slogans. I like my designs to be perfectly imperfect. Nothing's perfect. Nothing in this world is perfect. No person, no um, nothing. Nothing is perfect. So I like my things to be a little bit off, but they're perfect for me. Just like the things other people might make, they're perfectly imperfect for them. So, um, I hope you guys have a blessed day. Continue to be safe. Everybody in the world is in my prayers. Yeah, we need to heal the world. Sorry, the kids are busting in the room, which is why I had the door locked earlier. And they kept beating on the door. But anyways, like I was saying, 
We need to heal the world, y'all. We need this so much because there have been so many deaths within the last past um, month and a half. Well, it feels like a month and a half if it hasn't been. Um, well, I ain't going to say a month and a half, a month and some days because we're just not in April. Um, and, yeah, I, I, I can't do social media too much anymore. I can't get on Facebook like I used to because... I don't watch the news. I try to stray away from the news because the news depresses me. So I like to look at stuff that I might not know. And I watch the things that, that like are updates that we need to know about the coronavirus. Everything else I can do without because I'm tired of being depressed. I'm tired of being stressed. This is having a big toll on me as I know it is other people. So this is my escape. I like to craft and you know, play with my kids, do videos with my kids. We also have another channel called Barnes Family um, Channel. You guys can check that out and subscribe to that channel as well. It would be awesome. Um, we do challenges. We do um, all kind of stuff on that channel. We play games. It's just a way for me to stay close knit with my kids and do stuff with them. And this is a very hard time for them too because they're not used to being so closed in and confined and they really don't understand you know why especially the younger ones the older ones they pretty much know but the little ones are they don't understand why they have to be you know in the house why they can't go to school even though right now they're looking at this as a vacation but um anyways i'm not gonna hold you guys this video has been going on long enough i just get talk i get to talking about the subject and it just depresses me so much more so um i have to go and find something else to do to keep my mind off of it and like I say, I will be posting this video to our YouTube, IG page, and our Facebook page as well. Um, I hope you guys check us out. Check me out on this Everyday Black Mommy page and my YouTube channel, Everyday Black Mommy. My IG page, Everyday Black Mommy. Everything is everyday. Everyday Black Mommy. Because every day I'm a black mommy. Um, yeah, y'all just be safe, be blessed. Um... Pray for me like I pray for y'all. I love you guys. Bye.